Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and day seven of the glow up challenge. We are halfway there. Today we are doing a relaxing yoga like flexibility strengthening day. Is that enough adjectives to describe it? Um, it's going to be pretty chill. Feel free to light a candle if you want to get into it. Find a nice quiet place where you can relax and do some deep breathing. Because throughout this session today, I really want you to focus on your breathing. So taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Slow, deep breaths, okay? So find somewhere comfortable. Um, I'm just in my socks for this. I like to be able to feel the ground through my feet and we're going to start off by doing some shoulder rolls so shoulders go up back and down taking a deep breath as you do so shoulders going up all the way back and pressing them down lengthening the neck really exaggerating the range of motion here And reverse the other way. Up, forward and down. Take it nice and slowly. And relax, well done. Then we're just going to stretch out the neck. So looking across the right shoulder, keeping the shoulders nice and low, nice long neck. Deep breath in for a count of four. And exhale, two, three, four. And over the left shoulder. Then we're going to tip the head back. Looking up to the ceiling, feeling that stretch through the front of the neck, front of the chest. Deep inhale. And exhale. And as you exhale, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful, well done. Then we're just gonna focus on our feet a little bit. So make sure you're standing with good posture. The core is controlled. We're not overarching the back or hunching. We've got good posture. So really tilt that hip up, control the core and have the feet planted into the ground, into the earth. So you're feeling nice and stable. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift up onto the toes, onto the tippiest of toes and release back down, really feeling that grounding when you're standing. And then we're going to lift again onto the tiptoes, as tall as you can. Keeping that good posture, shoulders are back, core is engaged. Nice long body and lower the heels back down. Well done, we're going to do that one last time. So starting with a nice, evenly weighted flat foot. And then we're going to lift up onto the tiptoes, finding your point of balance. Hold it. Two, three, four, and lower slowly back down. Well done. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the hands together like so. Feet around about hip width apart. And we're just going to squat down. So the hips are going back and we're slowly squatting down. Chest stays up. And you should get to a point where you start to feel that your heels want to lift up off the ground. And that's the point where I want you to just hold it. Hold this nice low squat. So that might be with your hips below your knees, that's fine. It might be a bit up here, that's fine. But I want the feet nice and flat, weight through the heels. Chest is up as we squat down nice and low, feet facing forwards or slightly out. Feeling that stretch in the back of the heel and the ankle. And then just relax down, tutty down. Find your place of balance. Chest up. And take some deep breaths. Well done. Deep 
breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Really feeling that stretch here in the hips and in the back of the foot. Try and stay nice and tall. It's tempting to hunch down like this. Now try and bring that chest up. Finding your point of balance, weight through the heels. And we're going to release the hands down to the mat and we're going to straighten the knees as much as you can. If you find you'll bend just at this point, that's absolutely fine. But we're going to try and straighten those legs so we feel a really good stretch in the calves and the hamstrings as the weight of the head carries us over. Nice planted palms. And you can just bend one knee and the other. Moving through, keeping that point of balance. Oh, there goes the microphone. <laughs> I think you can still hear me from there. And we're just going to walk the feet in towards each other, so feet together as we just intensify that stretch. Reaching towards the mat again. You might be up here, that's absolutely fine. Wherever you can reach and feel it, so if you're up here, you're still cycling those knees. Reaching towards the mat, or if you can even come a bit lower and place a bit of your forearm on the mat, that's awesome. Really feeling that stretch. Then we'll walk the hands, the feet, sorry, out a bit, so feet to round about hip width apart again. Bring the hands back together. And Slowly lower back down, finding your balance in your squat position. So heels on the floor, chest up. Feeling that stretch in the hips and perhaps even in the Achilles tendon in the back of the calf and ankle. So you get nice and tall, it's tempting to hunch, but you really want to try and find your balance. Deep breath, so center yourself. Deep breath in for two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four, well done. So it might be that when you plant your heels down on the mat, you kind of tip back a bit. And that's where I want you to really squeeze and find your balance. We're going to release the hands back down towards the mat. Again, so palms flat on the earth, straightening out those back legs again. Walking the feet together, doing a nice pike position stretch here. You can bend one leg and that will intensify the stretch on the straight leg and just keep cycling through moving around as you feel this is very free <laughs> and then we're going to come up to a standing position well done okay now we're gonna turn sideways <laughs> in line with our mat and I want you to come down into a lunge position. So one leg in front of the other, the other leg behind, a simple lunge. Remembering to embrace the core, squeeze the core. And we're just gonna lower down so that, that back knee is on the ground. So my shoulders are back down and relaxed. My core is engaged. My back leg, my left leg is on the ground. What I'm gonna do is squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes as I move the hips forward. Keeping that knee, the left knee, planted on the ground. I'm just squeezing and moving the hips forward and I'm feeling the stretch in the front of the thigh, in the quads of the thigh, on that left leg. Again, keeping good form. My shoulders are still back and relaxed. My core is still engaged. Shoulders on top of hips. The hips are the ones moving forward. I'm not doing this. I'm not losing my posture. Keeping good posture to really intensify that stretch in the quads. Well done. Deep breath in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Excellent job and release. Back to the center. 
So we were here, now we're back here. And we're just gonna push it that little bit further back. So the hips go back, keeping good posture. And I stretch out that right leg in front of me, pointing the toes towards the ceiling, feeling the stretch in the back of that right leg. So in the hamstring and the calf, really feeling that stretch. Deep breath in, two, three, four. And exhale, as you exhale, just round the head over. Press the chest rather into the thigh of that right leg. Really deepening that stretch. And come back up to center. Well done. We're gonna place the hands outside of the foot in front. And I'm gonna push up to lift up that back knee, the left knee up off the mat. And I'm gonna release that right leg back. So we're in a high plank position like so. And we're just gonna hold this. So hands under shoulder, breathing through, feeling that tension in the core as you keep good form. Deep breath. Well done. And then we're gonna shift those hips up, pressing the shoulders and chest towards the mat, walking the feet in a bit, letting the heels find the mat. Nice straight legs, open shoulders in downward dog here. Nice deep breath in and out. And from this position, I'm just gonna lower the forearms. Lower the forearms, keeping that chest pressed towards the mat, walking the feet in a bit, and trying to press my heels down towards the mat, holding this pose. Nice, strong shoulders, strong in the shoulders, really pushing those shoulders away from the mat. Open and strong fingertips and palms flat on the mat reaching out in front. Then we're gonna lift back up onto the palms, back into downward dog. Holding really well, nice and strong. And back into plank position. Hands beneath shoulders, core embraced. And we're gonna step forward with that left foot in between the hands, palms planted, feeling that nice stretch in that lunge position. And we're gonna release the hands as we lower the right knee down to the mat, finding our lunge on the other side. <laughs> A little bit of breathless after that. Deep breath. And we're gonna reset our position here. So shoulders roll back, nice long neck, core is tight and embraced. Making sure I'm not overarching in the lower back. I've got my hips under my shoulders. Gonna squeeze that right glute as I move the hips forward. Upper body staying in line, feeling that intense stretch in the front of the right thigh. Deep breath in through the nose and out. Really squeezing that glute and trying to, it's almost like you're trying to press that hip down into the mat in front while keeping good form. So really pushing those hips forward. That right knee stays planted in the ground where it was and it's the hips that move so we get that nice stretch. And release, reverse the other way. Hips go back, left leg straightens out in front, pointing the tiptoes towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, press the chest towards the thigh of the left leg. Really feeling that stretch in the hamstrings and the calves of the left side, pressing the chest down. And 
deep breath. Each time you exhale, you reach a little bit further, intensifying that stretch. And back up to centre. Well done. And we're going to place our hands outside the foot again, lifting up the back right knee, feeling that stretch in the lunge position before we put that left foot back as well. So we're in a nice high plank here, holding this position, finding your strength and your peace with the deep breaths. So strong and controlled. And we're going to tip back into downward dog. Just pressing the hips up in the air, heels towards the ground, chest open, press towards the earth. Deep breath. Well done. We'll lift up that right leg, point it towards the ceiling while the hips still face the mat. Shoot it up like an arrow into the air. And then what we're going to do is move quickly as we bring that right knee through, up, lift it up off the mat in this high plank position. Deep breath. Hold it there. I know the core is shaking, that's good. And reverse. Right leg lifted again in the air before lowering down to meet the left foot in the downward dog position. Then we're gonna come down into child's pose. Hips back towards the feet, chest into thighs. Take a deep breath here for a moment. Reaching the fingertips out further along the mat. <laughs> deep breath. And then we're going to come back up into that plank position. Hold that there. Hands below shoulders. Pushing back into downward dog. Chest facing the mat. Chest open. Palms flat against the earth. Deep breath. We're going to lift up that left leg. Shooting like an arrow straight back. In line with the body, hips stay facing the mat. I don't want you tipping out to the side. No, hips stay facing the mat. Squeeze that glute to lift that leg before we drive the knee through. Holding that plank position with one leg lifted up above the mat, squeezing the core. Deep breath. And reverse, shooting that left leg back up, squeezing the glute to get it nice and high. And back to downward dog. Deep breath. Hold that position. Nice little bit of core work there. And we're going to come down into child's pose. Well done. We're going to do a little bit of headstand work. So open your hands underneath your shoulders. Tabletop position. And we're going to lower down so that our elbows are where our hands just were. And I want you to hold one elbow with the other to make sure that your hands aren't too wide. So it should be about a forearm and a hand length apart. Now, I want you to make a nice little cup with your hands here in front of you. So interlacing your fingertips, nice little cup where your head can sit. Just going to place the head against the floor, just cupped by the hands. Now, if you've not done handstands before, you can simply practice this setup and move through it. If you have done handstands before, however, or you want to try it, 
I want you to walk the feet up towards the body and lift up. Finding your balance, squeezing your core, pushing through the shoulders. There's not a lot of weight on the head. It's mainly through the shoulders, the forearms. And my head is just there for balance. So I'm really holding my core. Deep breath. It might be that you want to try this against a wall or with someone holding your legs to just become comfortable upside down. If this is too much, it is absolutely fine to stay in the setup position, the tabletop position. Holding this position, they want you to put the feet together like so. Nice open hips, straighten out the legs and lower back down. We'll push up into a bit of a standing straddle position. Walking the heat, feet back towards centre, hands together and come back up. Namaste. <laughs> Okay, I'm nice and sweaty from today's practice. Very warm in here. I've also got lights on as well, so it's very warm. Um, I just want to thank you for joining me for day seven. That's it for today. I hope that you feel relaxed and centered, a little bit jelly, but also like you've used your muscles a bit, especially your core. Um, yeah, thank you so much for doing this plan with me. We're halfway through and you're doing really well. I'm so proud of you for choosing to show up every day. I'm proud of me too. Like this stuff is good for us. It's good for us. And here we are doing it. So yay, go us. Look at us, who would have thought it? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments how you found it. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. I will see you back here very soon. Love you so much. Bye. <laughs>